So let's see what is capital employed, amount invested by main business or the core business of the owner that is amount invested in that business, the net worth is the capital employed. So when balance sheet is given to us, all tangible assets plus prepaid expenses plus non-trade investments. See, uh, we have to in all the assets exclude the goodwill and then subtract all outside li liabilities excluding reserves and partners loan. See, if nothing is mentioned, investments ko kya loge aap? Investments should be considered as trade in investments. Therefore, consider them and take them. See, yadi ye balance sheet hai, aapki tangible assets, prepaid expenses or trade investments. Investments ke liye kuch nahi kaha gaya hai, to take them as trade investments, take them. Aur usme se aapki outside liabilities means, ye reserve or partners loan ko chhodna hai, goodwill or non-trade investment ko chhodna hai. So, what you will do, take these tangible assets, prepaid ex expenses and trade investments and isme se aap subtract karenge ye. Iska total minus this outside liabilities, what this will give you? This will give you capital employed. So you have left the reserve, the partner's loan. You have left the goodwill, the non-trade investments. So if balance sheet is given, how will you calculate capital employed? Tangible assets, prepaid expenses, trade investments ka sum karo minus the outside liabilities and what you get is your capital employed. Now, यदि आपको fix assets, current assets ऐसे करके दिया है तो आप capital employed कैसे find out करेंगे? Let's see. Okay, if in balance sheet, see here fix assets is given to you, fix assets, current assets is also given to you and current liabilities are here. So what you can say is capital employed. is equal to fixed assets plus current assets minus current liabilities. So add fixed assets and current assets and subtract the current liabilities over here. And this gets your capital employed. Okay. Now third capital employed when undistributed profits or undistributed losses is given. सबसे पहले देखो कि undistributed profits क्या होता है, undistributed losses क्या होता है, so undistributed profits means we have earned लेकिन अभी तक बाटा नहीं, distribute नहीं किया, उसके example क्या है, reserve fund, general reserve Profit and loss account, credit balance. Okay, that is your undistributed profits, undistributed losses. Ye sab aapke liability side mein milenge. Reserve fund, general reserve, profit and loss, credit balance in your liability side. Now, undistributed losses. So, profit and loss account, debit balance. Here, so PNL debit balance यदि कोई है तो वो undistributed losses है. Now capital employed का formula यहाँ पर क्या होगा? Capital employed is equal to capital plus all the reserve funds plus general reserve plus profit and loss account credit balance minus profit and loss account debit balance minus prepaid expenses. तो ये जो accumulated losses है उसको subtract करो और capital में ये सब चीजे add करो so your capital employed will be what capital plus the reserve fund 
plus your general reserve plus your PNL credit balance minus your profit and loss account debit balance and minus prepaid expenses. PNL debit balance हमको asset side में मिलेगा. This is accumulated losses. So capital employed is equal to total operating asset minus your outside liabilities at the revised value. Now let's find valuation goodwill ka methods kya hai super profit ke liye. There are three methods. Let's see further. 